So how do you get an entire audience to engage so fully that they actually leave the conference wanting to create results? What is right now? Yeah! How do you get an entire audience to be that passionate about what they've learned? See, I'll do whatever it takes to help you get this information. Hi, I'm Terry Hawkins, and as a conference speaker, it is my absolute intention to make sure that I make a powerful, positive impact on every single member of every audience that I stand before. Can other people change the way we think and feel about things? I love the optimist. There they go, like, yes! Now, the whole intention for this presentation is twofold. First of all, I want to show you what I can do as a speaker. Put your hand on your chin, go! On your chin. <laughs> Woo! People follow what we do, not what we say. Secondly, I promise you that just in these few minutes, hopefully there'll be something for you. So other people actually can change the way we think and feel about things if we let them. If we let them, and I'm gonna make a really out there assumption here and assume that when you walk through that door that you actually came in to get something that you didn't want. My job is to help people create a gap. We need to have more atmosphere in this business, but they don't show us how. Now, in my experience, what I've found is the only way sometimes to identify our gap is when we get a little bit of feedback. So what sort of feedback do we love? What sort of feedback do you love? We love that feeling of being supported. What sort of feedback do we hate? Negative. That was pathetic. And sometimes what happens is that feedback just stings. Lighten up, honey. See, when feedback actually stings, there's a little bit of truth in it. It might sting in the moment, but I swear the person will get the learnings from it. Now, the funny thing with feedback is how you perceive it. See, perception is projection. out that one percent of my audience actually hate me. <laughs> Some of you are sitting there going, only one. So whatever it is that we judge, we then project. Because we judge. Judge, judge, judge. Partners, children, you name it, we judge. Don't need an <laughs> So what's that word that's not empathy, that sounds like empathy? Sympathy is a judgment. Sympathy is where we feel sorry. You know, the customer comes in and goes, they're expensive, and you go, I oh, know. We sympathise with results, don't we? We don't see the, what, what we're given. And then we go down, 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 down. And before you know it, we're in the pit. I reckon there'll be a few people who wake up tomorrow morning in the pit. <laughs> So there's a language that people use when they're in the pit. What's you going on about retail all the time? I'm in IT. You'd think morning tea would be faster, wouldn't you? Did you see my hotel room? All of us have a pit man. I've had growing men come up to me with tears in their eyes and say, you know, Terry, I think I'm the pit man in my family. How do you take people who don't have any more passion left? How do you take them from this to this? Why do we have to feel motivated to do motivated? There is a way to shrink pit man. The only person that can save you when you're in the pit is you. The term I give it is stick man. So we have pit man and we have stick man. Well, stick man is everything that I've learned in the last 25 years about human behavior. You see, whatever language and behavior that you do, the brain actually fires neurons. And neurons that fire together, wire together, and it grows like a branch. You want to change something. You can't go to bed tonight, cross your fingers, and hope it's going to happen. You have to start growing a new pathway. So what happens is this one starts to go, oh, looks like we're not going to be needing this one anymore. And so this one gets pruned, and it's called neuroplasticity. See, we're so busy trying to get it really quick, 
fact that we miss the pathway, we don't stop long enough to think about the behaviours. Identifying the behaviours that have actually created the outcome and life you are living right now. And then to go back and change those behaviours. Change the brain. Stick people, take ownership. Sometimes we just need to be shown how. Can you imagine an entire organisation living outside of the pit? That is how whole cultures within organisations move forward and change together. Do I bring entertainment value? Wow! Who was that? Absolutely. Do I bring fun? Okay. Oh, okay. I love that. Absolutely. Humour? Oh no, everyone's going to be looking at me. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Absolutely. Serious content. See, if you're in the pit, no one can save you. I am telling you the absolute truth. And if you get offended by this, you know what? Bad luck. Absolutely. Intelligent theories. You actually get the learning a lot faster if you're laughing, because when you're laughing, your unconscious mind relaxes. The trust, trust level goes up. And learning retention increases by about 65 to 70%. Absolutely. That's what I want to bring to your conference. That part that helps people have a leg up. Sometimes that's all we need.